I've had, I've been a four seed. I don't know what we were my freshman year when we played Moorhead. I know we were one of one seeds, but at the end of the day, ultimately, if you go far enough, you're going to play against a good team, regardless. And that, that's the key. You talk about how you and Chris Jones have matched. I mean, that there was some adjustment period, I, I probably. Right, yeah, but what people fail to realize is Chris, Chris is a tremendous player. He was a player at the Juco level that totally dominated that level. And it was a totally different system. Not, 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 not saying that you know he can't do it at this level, but he definitely can. But it's a new system, and like I said earlier, it's a whole different bunch of guys, and it's just learning to play with each other. And here at Louisville, we we have a tendency to that Montrez gets touches, Luke gets touches. Everybody gets a chance to flourish. Chris is going to have his opportunities. He, it's going to come a game where he explodes, and he's done it. So once he figures it out, puts it all together, he'll be unstoppable. You won the national championship last year. How did you? find motivation for this year? Because with, with all respect, I feel like I'm a good basketball player. When I, came back, when I came back last year, I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew I had to work hard, work on my jump shot, work on my shooting, passing, decision making. And I've done a great job. I've done a tremendous job. I even worked on my leadership and maturity. I did a lot of those things. And to get here to this point, it's no surprise for me. I've, I've done it the, the past three years, so I feel like, why can't I do it now? And I have a great group of guys and group of guys who want to learn, especially the freshmen, Terry and Anton, Mango. Those guys really want to play and learn, and it's just, it's just lovely. Plus three straight conference championship tournament victories uh, after losing as, your, as a freshman to UConn and Madison Square Garden. Do, do you remember? Was that in the back of your mind? You know what? It, it was, but not not that particular, like the team, the way the way uh, it's set up. I know where you're getting at. I know how you're referencing it, but I, I thought about my postseason advances. I've, I've been to the championship every time, so when Houston came out last game, you know, fired up, it kind of, it almost, it almost kind of irked me because I didn't want to lose early. As a senior, as a guy who's always been to the championship in the postseason, it's kind of frustrating when a team is that close to eliminating. And tonight, I wanted to just start off with energy, start off uh, just just being just being super energetic, just to get my teammates to follow my lead, and everybody did a great job. Have you, you guys, had a chance to? You guys have won the last five by an average of almost thirty per game. I would explain that type of game. The guys are buying in, the guys are focusing. When it's time to scout, when it's time to, to uh, learn about a, a team, we're doing a great job just just locking in, and that's what we need. We need guys to lock in, we need maturity, we need leadership, and I'm trying to provide it as, the best way I can. How do you get to the Final Four from here? We do the same thing we've been doing, pick up our passing, pick up our defense. If we pick up our passing, if we get to passing the way we were the games of previous, we'll be okay. But if we pick up, play defense the way we should, then we'll be okay. So it's just our defensive passing. Russ, how, do, how do, would you say a team would beat Louisville at this point? How does someone beat you guys? We have to match our energy, match our intensity for 40 minutes. And that's, and that's, that's tough because we, we play hard the whole entire game. And if, and if we know that we're tired, if we know that we're tired, then the other team's exhausted and we're deep. So it's it's going to take a tough game. And if guys aren't playing hard on our team, coach will not hesitate to sub you out and put somebody in that's going to play hard. When you said you guys deserve to one seed, do you agree? And if so, why? You know what? With all the attention on the Big Ten and the ACC, it, one of those teams are probably going to get a one. Wichita's undefeated. They're more than deserving. We know how good Wichita is, so when anyone asks, do they deserve a one seed? Yes, the answer is yes. But with us, it doesn't matter. You know, we've kind of been in, in, the, in the shadows. We've been in the shade. And if they give it to us, they give it to us. If they don't, we'll just have to play. It doesn't matter to me.